Okay, folks, I told you that Elvis had an identical twin that died at birth. And like I've shown in the past, you know, Elvis and his identical twin were born January 8, 1935. They were born in Tupelo, Mississippi. And look at his twin, the one that died, his name. First of all, on his gravestone, it's spelled J-E-S-S-I-E. Okay, there's an I missing here. And he's got my name in his middle name, the dead twin. My name is G-A-R-O, Garo, you see? His dead twin has my middle name. I mean, has my name in it. Anyway, so they were born in Tupelo, Mississippi. And the area code for Tupelo, Mississippi is 662. And the fact that the area code is 662 where the identical twins were born, the word twin equals 66. So basically it's telling you 66 times two, basically. You know, there's two of them. 66 equals the word twin, not twins. So look up here. So in Gematria, Elvis equals 67, the name. Jesse, spelled with an I, equals 67. Okay? So they both equal 67. The 67th prime number equals 331. And there was two of them born that day, right? So 67th, again, equals 331. If you add those two together, it's 662, which is the two below area code. And they both equal 67, and both of those are the 67th prime number. You see what I'm saying? And it equals the two below Mississippi area code. And look, from Elvis's birthday, the day the identical twins were born, to 9-11 when the, you know, the Twin Towers fell on the date 9-11. So from the twins, and that one of the twins died, to the, to the Twin Towers falling, you understand? It's uh, eight months, four days, or 247 days. But look at the percentage of that, mon that amount of days. It's 67.67%. Do, do you not see what's happening here? Elvis and Jesse both equal 67, 67.67 to 9-11, the towers fell from the birth of the identical twins. And by the way, the 67 prime number, the first time you see the numbers 33 is with the 67th prime. And, uh, he, you know, Jesus, he was crucified at the age of 33 and he rose from the dead at 33. The, the number 33 is the number of ascension. And this is the first time you see the 33 connecting to a prime number. And speaking of the 33, you know, he was born in Tupelo, Mississippi, right? The identical twins. The letters TM are the initials. Then Elvis, he died in Memphis, Tennessee, where, you know, Graceland, his compound is. MT. So he went from TM to MT. Get it? The word empty. Because uh, his tomb is empty. Elvis lives. Elvis is an anagram for the word lives. Anyway, TM equals 33. MT equals 33. You understand? T is the 20th letter. M is the 13th letter. Makes 33. So you have two 33s again, which equals 66. The twin equals 66. So if you went from Elvis's birthday, the day the identical twins were born back in 1935, and if you went forward 662 days, Okay, because that's a Tupelo area code, right? So that's why I'm going forward 662 days. It's one year, nine months, 23 days for that particular year. If you start from January 8, 1935 and go forward 662 days, that's what it would equal. And I told you that that's the numbers 1923. 1923 equals 42. Elvis died at the age of 42. Washington is a 42nd state where Seattle is. Seattle, Washington's initials, SW, 19 and 23, you see, which connect to this. And look at the percentage, 181.37% for 662 days. That's the 42nd prime, 181 plus the 37 is the EL. The EL means God. If you turn the 3 and 7 around, it looked like the letters EL, Okay. If you think these are coincidences, like I said, you're not thinking clearly. And you know, from Elvis's birthday 
to the date June 11th when I'm telling you that Seattle's going to have a spectacular event, okay? It's either 154 days if you don't add that day or 155 days. But the 154 is the target date here because the Antichrist equals 154, okay? And the only number that can add up to this particular number would be the Tupelo area code with this, the Antichrist number. So 662, the Tupelo area code with the Antichrist number equals 816. Elvis died on 816. Like out of all the numbers, you know, that would have to match, that's the only one that could match to make that 816 would be the Tupelo area code. And I told you that Trump is the replacement twin, okay, for Elvis's identical twin that died at birth. Trump is like, a, you know, who knows where this dude came from, what kind of spell was put on the, you know, whoever gave birth to this creature. Anyway, so Trump was born on 614, the 165th day of the year, and on leap year, it's 166 day, which equals 331. And that's the 67th prime, Okay. 331. And if you watched the video I did a few days ago, I think you saw all that information. And I told you that Trump is born on 614, 1946. Now I'm going to take the year. The 19th prime is 67. The 46th prime is 199. Add it up. It's 266. First of all, the 266 is the backwards of Tupelo's area code, 662. Okay. And then if you take the 65 and add it to the 266, it equals 331. So now I gave you two 331s. 331 here in his year, if you count the prime numbers and what it, you know, what the prime numbers equal. And then his 614 birthday was 331. 331 and 331 equals 662, which goes right back to Elvis and Jesse. 331, 331. 67th prime because Elvis equaled 67 and Jesse equaled 67 and the 67th prime is 331 two of them 662 the two below area code and I told you that Seattle's in Washington so George Washington plays a huge part in this puzzle okay George Washington he became a master mason on 8-4-1753 and I told you Trump gets his head wound on 8 4 so from 8-4-1753 to the day the identical twins, Elvis and Jesse, are born, look at that number, 66266. Look at that. It's right there. It's a forward Tupelo and a backward Tupelo area code. Do you understand? Or you could say it's the twin number, 66 equals twin, 66 equals twin, 266s. Get it? You understand what I'm saying? 20 equals 66, 20 equals 66, 266s. Elvis and Jesse. And I told you that Elvis, he was the first famous person to take a, uh, you know, the polio injection. He was the first one to take it on live television, a needle. Okay, I told you Elvis is all about the needle, like the Seattle Space Needle. Because Elvis was the first famous person to have anything to do with the Seattle Space Needle when he made a movie called It Happened at the World's Fair, as soon as the Space Needle was built. Anyway, he took that uh, the polio injection on 1028, which is Bill Gates' first birthday back in 1956. And Bill Gates is born in Seattle, Washington. And look at the, from that day that Elvis took the needle on Bill Gates' first birthday to the day the Seattle, the, spectac the spectacular event is going to happen, it's 66 Look at that, 66, 66%, 0.58%, 6,666, okay? And remember when I showed you that if you add up Vernon, the father, and Gladys, the mother, and just Elvis, it equals 223, and next year is 2023, okay? Or how about this great equation? If you take Elvis and Jesse spelled with the I like on the gravestone and add Tupelo, Elvis, Jesse, and Tupelo, it equals two, two, three. All you got to do is add up the letters. 
E is the fifth letter, L is the twelfth letter, and so on. Just add it up, and they all add up to 223. And again, I just want you to see that it's spelled J-E-S-S-I-E -S 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 on the gravestone of Jesse Garon Presley. And look at this. Elvis the Seattle King equals 223. Look at that. And I told you that Seattle is in King County and Elvis was known as the king. So I guess that's just another coincidence. Or how about this great coincidence? The word Washington, this is what it equals forward. This is what it equals backwards. It equals the exact same as Tupelo King. Exact same numbers. And who is the Tupelo King? <laughs> it's Elvis. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It's the exact same numbers. And I've shown everything that Washington equals, you know, like it equals the serpent, it equals upside down, you know, whatever. I've shown a bunch of different words that equal it. And you remember in that other video, I told you that the 156 prime number is 911. 156 equals 911, okay, in prime numbers. And, uh, and I told you the letter O is a crown. Okay, and I told you the letter O in the alphabet equals 15, and the reduced number is 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. That's how you reduce it. And so look at that. It's the 156 number, which is the 156 prime is 911, you see. And you'll see why I'm showing that, because remember I told you the 67th prime number is the first time you see the number 33? You know, connect anytime you, you know, that the first time you see the a double three in the prime number is the 67th prime. And I told you Elvis and Jesse both equal 67. And pay attention that from Elvis's birthday to June 11th is either 154 or 155 days. But on leap year, it's 156 days. So there's your 156 connected to the 911, connected to the O, okay, which is the crown which is the 156, 156 and 911. And look at this, the number 33 is the first number when written out to equal 156. You see, 156 connected to 911, connected to the crown, and also connected to nine. I mean, to 611 on leap year. And look how incredible this number is, is 156, and then you have a 66, you know, 666 right there. The 15 is a crown, 15 and then 666. All right. And even the back number right here is very important. Okay. It's, it's got many things in it, but I'm, I don't need to tell you right now. And I told you that, you know, if you do two crowns, 15 and six like this, you know, and you add it up across, it's 30 and then 12 equals 42. I told you Elvis died at the age of 42 and Washington is the 42nd state. And then 66 right here is the word twin and one plus five is six, six. Everything is a six, 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 six. Get it? 66, two, 66, like the two below area code forward and backward. Six, six, two, six, six. Two crowns, get it? And do you think it's just a coincidence that if you put the word Elvis and the word Memphis together, it equals the ex perfect a perfect uh, crown numbers, 15 plus a crown, and then 6 plus a crown. And then 21 is the total with a crown. You see that? I mean, you can't get more perfect than that. And by the way, the word Seattle and Washington, I mean, if you put Manhattan and Seattle together, it equals 174. The word Seattle and Manhattan. I told you Manhattan was the first 9-11. Seattle's the 6-11, upside down 9-11, the next 9-11. And notice that two crowns look like a, the number eight. You see? And it's just like this again. So if you put Elvis with two below, look, it equals 156. There's your, the 156 prime is 911 plus the 15 is the O and the six is the O. You see what I'm saying? You know, I could tell you whatever, you know, and same thing with Jesse and Tupelo. 156, 48, but the back numbers are different, okay? But anyway, uh, like I said, I could show you what the 141 is. The 141, where, where, where I just showed you, 
the Seattle SLU equals 141. And look, it's got the 33. And look, it's got the 174. Now, I told you that uh, Seattle and Manhattan together is 174. And look, it's got the 222. It's got the 33 number backwards. That This is what 33 equaled forward. Anyway, June 11th equals 141. Seattle SLU equals 141. Jesse and Memphis. Look at that, Jesse. Jesse and Memphis equals 141 also. Anyway, the 141 had to do with uh, Elvis and Tupelo. That's what I was showing you. And here's an interesting equation. Look, I spelled it differently. I put J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E instead of the I and added Tupelo and added the crown. Look at that. 162 forward, 162 backwards. Look at that. Because June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. You see that? It's even got a 45. Elvis has been dead for 45 years and Trump is the 45th president. Or how about this equation? You put a crown on Elvis and add the word throne. Look at that. It equals the exact same forward and backward. Look at that. 162, 63, 162, 63. The total is 450. Look at that. And I told you June 11th is the 162nd day of the year and 163 on the uh, on a leap year. 162, 163, get it? June 11th, 450 with a crown. Elvis has been dead for 45 years, and Trump is the 45th president. And in that last equation, I put up here, oh, you know, the Elvis with a crown and then throne. The word portal equals uh, O Elvis. Elvis with a crown equals portal. That's why portal throne equals the exact same as O Elvis throne what I just showed you. And you know, Elvis, this year, he turned 87 years old, and the prime number, the 87th prime number equals 449, and if you add June 11th, which is the 162nd day of the year, 449 plus 162 equals 611. That was for this year. And you remember there was that March for Our Lives protest on June 11th, all across the country. And, and lives is the word lives, is the word Elvis anagram. So it was basically a march for Elvis, you understand? On 611 this year. And look, June 11th, if you add the 162 to the prime number of, of Elvis's age this year, 87, you get 611, look. And next year, Elvis turns 88 on January 8th, very soon, you know, less than, almost, less than two weeks. Look over here. From Elvis's birthday to June 11th is 154 or 155 days, right? I told you the Antichrist equals 154, okay? That's why it's the 154 that we're trying to get. And if you take the prime number, the 88th prime number, because Elvis turned 88, is 457. You add the, the Antichrist number and the June 11th from Elvis's birthday to June 11th, okay? The last one I had shown you was from the was telling you that June 11th is the 162nd day of the year, which is which is correct. But from Elvis's birthday to June 11th, it's 154 or 155. So the if you add the Antichrist number 154 to the 80th prime, you get 611. And that's the day. That is going to be the day that the spectacular event in Seattle is going to happen on June 11th, 611. And remember, I showed you this earlier in the video, Tupelo area code 662, you add the Antichrist number of the 154, or the June 11th date from Elvis' birthday to June 11th is 154 days. So you add that to the Tupelo, you get 816, Elvis died on 816, okay? Anyway, folks, don't get my two predictions mixed up. Trump gets his head wound on August 4th in Ohio, and... The spectacular Seattle event is on June 11th. And somehow after this event, Elvis, his name or his image or the number of his name manifests. Okay. After June 11th. I mean, once the June 11th spectacular event happens. Anyway, folks, end of video.